What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ari. You and we back with another reaction video. You guys know Fat Boy Ari on this video. This video is 28 foods you gotta try in your lifetime. You gotta eat this at least one time in your lifetime. All right, I'm gonna give you guys one of my foods you guys gotta try before you die. Listen, and the only way you can have this is if you come to the Turks and Caicos. All right. So listen to the listen watch the entire video so you can hear the food you got to try before you pass. This is awesome. Trust me, you're gonna enjoy it. All right. With that being said, let's get into the video. From the juiciest and I like food the morning, to barbecue ribs from a gas station in Kansas City. Here okay. are 28 foods you can't miss. Is that something like barbecue months. chicken from a gas station? Bro, you tripping. If you're looking for some of the juiciest tacos in LA, be sure to stop by Diderria San Marcos. The meat is slow cooked for up to seven hours. The cooking broth is used to crisp up the tortillas, which then get a nice pile of cheese and are cooked further. And of course, no beer or taco is complete without a cup of consomme for dipping. While Portillo's in Chicago is known for its hot dogs, its cake shake is another incredibly popular one. I saw that one. one, I saw that one. The business makes anywhere from 60 to 200 chocolate cakes a day. Any cakes not served that day are used to make the shakes which include an entire slice mixed in. Primo's Donuts is an institution in LA. Since 1956, Primo's has been serving up hot and fresh donuts to Angelino's daily. While it may not fit the traditional shape, the buttermilk bar is widely regarded as one of the best donuts in Los Angeles. Joe's Kansas City Barbecue has been operating out of a gas station since 1996 and has become a favorite amongst locals. The award-winning ribs are slowly smoked and smothered in a sweet barbecue sauce. Okay. Okay, Joe. If pancakes are your breakfast of choice, look no further than the Clinton Street Baking Company in New York City. It's blueberry. Question, y'all realize something, right? So far, none of these freaking places are like major franchises. So far, I, I don't know Portillo's a major franchise. Maybe, 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 I doubt it, I doubt it. But it's always the low, the mom and pop shops, you did? You know what I mean? So local food is always the spot. I don't know why people like to go at these fancy restaurants where you're paying a hundred dollars for a plate of food just to look pretty. Man, I heard my food looks sloppy, but tastes good. And a lot of food, but like, for me, I, I'm a quality over quantity. No, I said it wrong. Quality, taste, I like taste, I like, Salt and pepper can't do it. I'm punching your throat. Don't Numerous do that to me. Don't food. play with my belly. I fat already. Don't Perfect play my stomach. Of crispy outside and fluffy inside. Ooh. And with its homemade blueberry sauce, it makes each bite as delicious as the next. Shit. Skyline Chili is a Cincinnati staple known for topping its meals with huge amounts of delicious chili and cheese. Its signature dish, called the Five Way, is oh, wow. a spaghetti base topped with beans, chili, and loads of cheese. Oh, wow. For a savory option in the morning, the full English breakfast from Terry's Cafe is one of the best in London. What the hell is? The dish comes as a hefty portion with Cumberland sausage, beans, roasted Yo. tomatoes, black pudding. Black pudding? Let me tell you what black pudding is. Black pudding is blood. Literally blood. Cooked blood. And that's a big glizzy, bro. I, can't, I don't fuck with the English breakfast. I'm sorry. UK people? I don't fuck with it. I I I, I, just, I can't. I, I don't know why. I just don't like it. I don't like. Listen, the runny eggs. I don't mess with that. I hate. Boy, if you don't fry the top part of your egg, your man use a kit man. I won't fight you. You nasty. That's nasty, bro. Eat it. Fry it, them. Flip it over and fry it, bro. Bread pudding. I mean, I mean, what is it? Red pudding. I forget in problem name. Blood patties. No, I'm sorry. I can't do that and squeak, mushrooms, bacon, and a perfectly runny egg. Ah! La New Yorkina in New York City makes traditional Mexican-style ice pops by hand. It makes Ooh. roughly 3,000 of the paletas a day and features a variety of Mexican-inspired flavors such as mango chili and raspberry verbena. c and Trattoria in Venice, California offers free and endless garlic knots with every meal. Each roll is doused with a signature garlic butter mix. The restaurant averages about 10,000 garlic knots each day. 
The nutty cookie from Bro. Bro is one of the most popular cookies in New York City. Oh. The cookie includes almonds, walnuts, macadamia nuts, and 61% dark chocolate wafers. The shop goes through around 3,000 cookies in just two days. Yeah. It's a lot of cookies. Some of the best pizza you can buy in LA doesn't come from a restaurant, but from this wood fire grill in the back of a pickup truck. After spending time learning the craft in Italy, Elia Lopez set up shop in a liquor store parking lot where he fires up fresh Neapolitan style pizzas with a wide range of customizations. Okay. I got a question. Let me know down in the comment section. Do y'all like deep dish pizza? My one experience I had with deep dish pizza was from Domino's Pizza. Oh my gosh. No, pan, pan pizza. That pan pizza, that's basically a deep dish. I don't know if it's a difference or it's a different, but it was the pan pizza. The pan, it, that shit was terrible. That shit tastes so nasty, bro. Oh my gosh. I was like, no man, this shit can't taste this bad like that, bro. I waste my money. I wanted to, I wanted to tell the man, hey, come back and take my money out of his hand and give him back his pizza. That shit taste terrible, and I tip him too. This is known for having the best the barbecue back. in the country, and the beef rib from Louis Miller Barbecue is no exception. A simple blend of seasonings paired with old school smoking techniques cooks the meat to a nearly pull apart texture. Bob, you, can, you can't go wrong with some barbecue, boy. Kambi in Los Angeles specializes in Japanese style egg sandwiches. One of its most popular is the egg salad sandwich, okay. which features a hefty scoop of egg salad okay. and a soft boiled egg sandwich. Oh, uh, that shit, nah. The business goes through around 2,200 eggs. Oh. Per week. A lot of chickens. Across the river from Manhattan, you'll find Fiore's House of Quality, a small deli in Hoboken, New Jersey, that's renowned for its roast beef and mutz sandwiches. The shop makes its own fresh mutz, which pairs perfectly with its roast beef and freshly baked rolls. The sandwich is topped off and served with a rich gravy for dipping. Boy, all this food, all this food is high cholesterol. Antico Vinayo is a must try in visiting Florence. Its sandwiches are made with a local bread called schiacetta. The shop has an endless Chica selection Chica? of cold cuts, cheese, and homemade creams like truffle or artichoke. You can find Fugetsu Do in LA's Little Tokyo. It's one of the oldest Japanese American businesses in the country. The family run shop is known for its rainbow dango, a fun and vibrant version of the traditional Japanese mochi. While Philadelphia may be known for its cheesesteaks, Sarcone's Bakery serves up another Philly classic. What started as a way to prevent leftover bread dough from going to waste, the tomato pie has become popular amongst Philadelphians for an on-the-go meal. Russ and Daughters is a fourth-generation family business serving up some of the best locks in Manhattan. The sandwich comes with a healthy portion of the smoked salmon, tomato, and cream cheese on both sides. Monty's Good Burger in LA oh, offers dang, a cook delicious this burger option that is 100% plant based. Uh, yeah. Cooks caramelize. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burgers. Can I take your order? Wasn't it M Mondo Burger? That's what I remind me of. Monty, I tell it's Mondo, my bad, sorry. It's daily. Then top impossible meat with follow your heart cheese, house made sauces. That pet is be so freaking tin. A great comfort food they, option. They, 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 they just like they be like you begging for it, bro. Since 1925, Eddie's Shop has made a name for itself in the Queens Borough of New York City. But one thing about him is New York. New York. I can say like that. That's three New York got good eats though. Hot fudge or strawberry sauce, fresh whipped cream, and a cherry on top. Don't put my fat ass in New York. <laughs> Y'all have to roll me on the plane. Features a five dessert. Not even roll me on the plane. Y'all sure have to put me in the cargo, the the the, 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 the livestock bin. Chocolate covered strawberries. My fat ass down there with the sandwiches. And the animals cake pops. with the bags. Don't put me a dough. Low Key Burritos is a pop up in Long Beach, California, serving up savory breakfast burritos filled with eggs, bacon, Fuck potatoes, that. and avocado. Get more spot on that eggs on UPS. With a crispy cheese blanket cradling the outside. That I look good, boy. Ralph's Italian Restaurant in Philadelphia is the oldest Italian restaurant in the country. Over the last 120 years, it's gained a loyal following. For classic Mugliano, what's it doing, buddy? Hey, 
Babino. Let me tell you. Let me tell you how this order. Hey, Babino, I wanna, I wanna meet sub on Duna, eh? And make it shake. I got a meeting at two o'clock. If you don't, if you don't put my food on the grill, hurry up. I'm gonna put my foot up your ass. You hear me? I'm gonna slap the shit out your ears, you Muliano. Hey, what the fuck you talking to like that? Eh? Eh? I'm gonna go take you no fuck in the back outside. Eh? You can go to some side. I'm, I'm gonna kick your ass. Eh? That's how this talk in my head. That's how this talk. I don't know why. That's how this talk in my head. I like it. It's the I like my Italians, bro. They make pizza pies. I just wanted to say pizza pie. The chowder that. from Atlantic Fish Company in Boston is perfect for seafood lovers. What the hell is this? The chowder is made with huge, fresh chopped quail hogs. Ew. Clarified butter. It's then served no. on toasted sourdough bread. I'm bowl. sorry. Ew. The Nasty. is one of New York City's most iconic desserts. Dominique Ansel Bakery created the donut croissant hybrid in 2015. I don't want bad bitch named Dominique. And the hype remains fervent to this day. <laughs> it's filled with two different fillings. <laughs> oh my god, I used to get him have this camera on. I'm not even gonna lie. This version features Meyer lemon and honey. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all want to watch Dr. Pimple Papa? That's what that donut looks like. You know what I mean? Like, do you cut it? Nothing. So she squeezes a bunch of fuck, bunch of flipping goo right on the wide. And it's not crazy. Shop Timbalo has revolutionized the traditional pasta bake. Instead of serving on a plate, what that is? Shop wanted to make a more portable version of the dish by wrapping it in a baked shell with a variety of fillings. Okay, it's creative. Mashki Malone's has been serving Persian ice cream to Hollywood locals since the 1980s. One of the more popular items is the pistachio ice cream sandwich made okay. with saffron rose water. Okay. I would the ask this this way. My damn film crash. I just, I just slapped the shit on my iPad, you know. But then I can say it wrong. Hold up. Steve's authentic key lime pie in Red Hook, Brooklyn, has created a way to enjoy its famous key lime pie on the go. The founders came up with the idea of making a smaller version of the pie that fits on a stick and is dipped in chocolate. Why would mine must be chocolate? So what did we miss? Are there any foods you think we should include for 2022? Let us know in the comments below. I don't know much stuff in the United States, to be honest. It would be nice to try it, because all I know is fast food shit. You know what I mean? And, and I know I'm even getting half as the, the quality food I should be getting compared to these other little mom and pop restaurants. You know what I mean? Them little diners and shit. Them shit be busting, bro. But I don't know what you go. If you don't, if like, you know what I mean? But yeah, now let me tell you when you come to the Turks and Caicos or in the Bahamas, right? Let me tell you what you need to get. You need to get yourself some boiled. No, hold on. Let me get me. I'm going. For breakfast. Some freaking boiled fish, some boiled grouper. Don't let them, don't let them trick you and give you any damn pot snapper. If they give you a pot snapper, one of them little regular looking fish, tell them, hey, take that back. Because they give you pot snapper but charge you freaking grouper price. But anyhow, you want a nice boiled fish with some onions and, 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 and some pimentos and some, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Nice little gravy. And yeah, 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 Johnny K, that's a breakfast. Or if you want a fish person, you should get your chicken sauce and your Johnny K. Or if you want to chicken, if you support pork sauce and um, Johnny K. Or if you want it today, or you want some conk, you should get your conk, conk, your stew conk, you get your dope, you get your uh, potatoes, you get your, your, your nice juicy pieces of conk, make sure they put conk inside your damn plate. I had some pigtail. If you're into the pigtail, don't put a, don't tell them to put the pigtail inside your pot if you're not into that. Alright? Nah, that's for breakfast, for lunch. What's a good lunch? Let me see what's a good lunch. Lunch. Uh, okay, what we could do, we could go light for lunch because then it could be heavy. I have my I don't have set board right inside of my on my 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 my, my, my dinner, right? So lunch. We could probably do some light finger foods. We could probably do some kung fritters, some fritters. Nice kung. Listen now, nah, listen. You have to make sure they put actual kung inside. You remember? We make sure these people be they, 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 man, they be dirty. They don't want to put actual kung inside. All you have is a bunch of dough and pepper. Make sure they put kung inside your wife, right? So some kung fritters, 
Cash pressure hold you. You 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 want to fall. Um. So what's a good account? Some count and some sauce. Conference and some sauce. Or you get a crack crack count, right? Crack count. All right. So that's for lunch. That's for lunch. You, you might might tell you we're keeping it light for lunch now. Get on. This this is good now. See so you want to go to a nice spot. You get your boil. You get your fried fish. If you went to fish, you get your fried fish. I got you. I got you. Hold up. Watch this. Watch this. Your fried fish, right? And a nice fry, a nice good size fried fish or steam fish with some peas and grits, dry pieces of conch. Uh, if you want your salt beef, you can put salt beef in it. I mean, not really. No, that's all beef. I don't want your, your pigtail, your. I say peas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so, so you got your peas and grits. Peas and grits. You might be like, ew. Listen to me. That bitch be hitting. Or if you don't want no fish, you can get your you can get your green turtle. It might be saying, "Oh, you guys are eat you guys are um the turtle." I don't eat turtle, but there are people who like turtle. I don't like turtle because it tastes nasty. You guys are killing the turtles. Mess be eating green turtle, and you can catch turtles and eat the turtles here. Don't ask me why. It's not my no law protect us. See, I'm Aquaman, so don't ask me. Um, yeah. So what's a good? That's good, yeah, man. Most see, see food. Um, what's a what could be good for? Hmm, that's all I can remember. But then you are gonna have for to wash the down. You need some switcher. I said, nah. So switcher, right? Your lime, your lime, water, and sugar. You mean lime? You mean lemon? I say, oh damn, lemonade. I say lime, lemon expensive. Lime, sugar, and water. That's switcher. That's what we call it. Now for dinner you get your nice little cassava bread, your banana bread, or, or your potato bread. You straight, bro. That's goodies, bro. I give you a whole menu, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. Yeah, but yeah, man, that's Hershey Kickers Bahamas for you right there. That's our basic meal, you know. But that's for tourists, really. We don't eat that every day. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You can't afford to eat that every day. Well, anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you guys are new to the channel, I swear, nothing me getting a little excited. I wish I had a piece of fish in my fridge right now. I get fish. But anyway, <laughs> hope you guys have a awesome day, man. Be happy, be blessed, and remember, the world is yours. Peace. I'm out.